Alrighty. Today we have a 11 plate, three and a half inch by three and a half inch cell. Uh, total outside dimensions is three and seven eighths to three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. We have a a bubbler reservoir using approximately two ounces of KOH to 48 ounces of distilled water. We have a a Dwyer flow meter. Right now it's reading a little bit over two liters a minute. And over here we have a car battery. There's uh, nothing else hooked to the car battery at all. And right here we have a uh, a uh, fluke uh, amp meter. It's a uh, industry standard. You can see that it was just calibrated on uh, December 9th of 2008. And you can see that this cell here, we'll go back over here again, show you everything, the bubbler, going back down into a secondary bubbler, showing no pressure, going up to the thing, it's going a little over 2 liters a minute at 11.2 amps. It's bouncing around a little bit. We didn't do anything special, we just hooked the unit up, there's no pulse width modulator with it. Um, it's staying steady. We've been running for about 15 minutes now and we've stayed right around here. Alrighty, thank you and have a good day. Alrighty. This is an identical cell that we just tested and we got 2 liters per minute at 12 amps. Um, just the exact same cell, everything's exactly the same on it. We go up through our bubbler, we go over, we go down to our secondary bubbler, and we go back up to our flow meter, and you can see we're getting about a liter and a half per minute at 11, about 12 amps we'll say. And you can see again that this uh, fluke uh, meter was just calibrated on the 9th of December. And all we're running is a battery, a straight car battery that we charge up. We're holding steady. I'll show you the flow. The water's coming in this side. And goes. all the gas is coming out this side. You see we're holding steady. Still holding steady up there. Oh, we went up a little bit. The cell is starting to heat up just a little bit. And you can see on the end of our line we have an open line so there's no resistance to the pressure at all. Okay, we now have two of the 11 plate units hooked up separately, coming off the same power supply, the battery and the battery charger. You can see each of them producing pretty steady, you can see the flow of it. See the two bubblers. You can see that we're staying at a steady three and a half liters per minute. And I can show you that one cell is running right around a little over 10 amps. And the other cell is running at about 13 amps. So at 23 amps, we're hitting, uh, we'll say 35, three, three and a half liters per minute. And you can see that we're easily burning a torch. I'll turn the light off for a second. You can see that we easily have a torch going. You can see we're still staying steady. 
I'll show you the amps again. Staying right at the same amperage. 